say my question is in regards to Apida, and we know there is too much reputation these days. And um, um, so my question is, can we learn Apida from uh, popular scholars like, well, I, I don't want to name, but if I don't say the name, you want to understand what I'm saying. Yeah, just say name, name, I'll, I'll tell you, name, go ahead. Like Yasser Khan? No. Or no. If you want misguidance, if you want misguidance, listen to Yasser Qadi. If you want to be misguided, listen to Yasser Qadi. Yasser Qadi has an agenda for, for Muslims in, 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 in America, unfortunately. وَمَنْ يُرِدِ اللَّهُ فِتْنَتَهُ فَلَنْ تَمْلِكَ لَهُ مِنَ اللَّهِ شَيْئًا If you want to be misguided, listen to Yasser Qadi. Uh, again, uh, I think uh, is is uh, is uh, the, the, the uh, he's asking about some scholar who said uh, worshiping the grave is not uh, shirk. <laughs> get a hike. Tell him get a hike. You know, sell that stuff to the people who don't know their belief system, my dear friend. Whoever said that, I think it's also Yasser Qadi who said that. My man. But I tell you, know, I'm, <laughs> you know, uh, I said that example before, uh, and and I, I really the way that I see, I feel sorry for the guy. Wallah, I feel Wallah, I feel sorry for him. Wallah, quite frankly, uh, and 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 even I give a nasiha to his family and maybe his community. I mean, the guy was. I mean, the guy, I, I want to tell you something. Yes, Al Qadi was, mashallah, at a, 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 a certain uh, time, he was the hope of the uh, people who follow Quran and Sunnah here in this country or in the West. I mean, I, I don't want to belittle the brother. I mean, I, I mean, I seen his work in Huda. I worked with Huda for a while. And, and, and mashallah, the brother is, 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 is great. Uh, but subhanallah, uh, maybe that, that goes to the sister in Tennessee. What did Yasser Qadi do to himself? Huh? Or the brother who is who's, living amongst atheists? Or the sister who is living around the drug dealers? All these questions, right? He allowed himself to spend five years of his time with philosophers, rational, in a university called Yale. He tells you that, by the way. He tells, I'm not making, I mean, he tells, he says that to you. He, say, he's the, he said, I had doubts. They man, imagine someone who's a graduate of Medina, supposedly the best uh, uh, faculty of Islamic education in the face of this earth, huh? comes in and he goes to Yale. And then he begins doubting, doubting, doubting. And he wanted to get that PhD so that he can, you know, I don't know what. He went the other way around. They got to him. You see, these philosophers, these rational, uh, you can be in that environment. Uh, you need to understand when Umar Abdul Khattab, when Hadith in Musnad is authentic, everybody knows that Hadith. When he stopped by the Jewish uh, uh, weekend school uh, in order to, you know, uh, Umar, by the way, explained later on why he did that. He said, عَجِبْتُ أَنَّ التَّوْرَاةَ تُصَدِّقُ الْقُرْآنَ وَأَنَّ الْقُرْآنَ يُصَدِّقُ التَّوْرَاةَ I was just amazed how the Quran and the Torah match and quite frankly in the Old Testament there are certain things that identical identical I mean I was explaining uh, I don't know uh, uh, to my uh, yeah to my to my my my, my children are memorizing uh, Surah Al-Araf and, and there is that verse that says إن الذين كذبوا بآياتنا واستكبروا عنها لا تفتح لهم أبواب السماء ولا يدخلون الجنة حتى يالج الجمل في سم الخياط وكذلك نجز المجرمين uh, Indeed those 
who belied Allah's signs, whether ayat kawniya or ayat qur'aniya or ayat rusul, whatever. Whether it is the ayat of Allah, the ayat al khalq, or ayat al Quran, the Quran, huh? uh, and they were arrogant. They were. They had. They had arrogance to follow it. Their souls will not ascend to the heaven at the time of death. That's how we understand the verse. Nor they will enter jannah. The only time they will enter jannah if you manage to make a camel go through the eye of a needle. This verse is exactly in the fil fil Torah, by the way. Exactly. Umar was amazed at that. Umar was not there because he was... No, he just... Uh, uh, this is what we call what... Uh, I think there is a... Curiosity. He's just curious. So he gathered some of these verses. Which what? Nazi. There is no contradiction here. Imagine that. And he goes to the Prophet and, Ya Rasulullah, I met my uh, Jewish rabbi friend and I thought about bringing you some of that stuff. Oh, uh, see? Oh, I, I want to go to Yale and study with these people who hate Islam, hate Muslims, hate anything that has to do with Islam. You need to understand this, brothers and sisters in Islam. One of the biggest tricks that we have as Muslims is the Orientalists. The Orientalists. Who are the Orientalists? People who study Islam to find flaws in Islam, to spread misconceptions about Islam. Those people study Islam. They are the professors of Islamic studies in these fields. He's not teaching Islamic studies because he believes in Islam. No. He's looking at Islam as a critical text. And now he becomes your teacher. Oh, for five, four years. What do you expect then? That is why the brother is, is asking me to learn Aqeedah from me. What Aqeedah? Which one? You ask Yasir Qadi right now, which Aqeedah are you following? What Aqeedah are you following? You know, he will tell you all. <laughs> Mix grill. We have mix. You have kebab. And you have chicken. And you have, Ya Rajul, Ittaqillah. Ittaqillah. Ya'ani fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fa'umar says, Amutahawiku, uh, uh, the Prophet said to Umar, Amutahawikuna fiha, Ya ibn al-Khattab. Are you confused about it, Ya ibn al-Khattab? Laqad jaytukum biha bayza'a naqiyya. I have uh, uh, brought it to you clear. Don't, don't go into, uh, look at this, by Allah, if Musa will will come down, he will follow me. For Shahid, my dear brother, uh, uh, I listened, uh, I didn't listen to him, by the way, directly, uh, but I know, he said that, uh, subhanallah, in context, and, and I think, uh, I had a time to listen to brother Daniel, uh, Haqiqatu, I think he had like 15 minutes, because, and, and I think also Sheikh uh, Dimashqiyya, Abdul Rahman, Hafiz Allah al Jamia, also came up with something regarding responding to that. Abdul Rahman, Sheikh Abdul Rahman, I think he's uh, in Europe. Uh, he came up with something. Um, <laughs> you, you know, this brother is confused. And uh, let me close here because my time is running out. Uh, there is a story I was going to tell. Uh, quite frankly, he doesn't deserve any more responses regarding because every day is going to come up with something. It looks like attention is a good thing, you know. It's, when I say something, everybody like you know he likes that, you know. He's, I think the whole thing has to do with that, you know. I have man, I you know I'd rather spend my time, but what I want to say is uh, I don't know what is the name of this muhaddith, but I love this story. That someone who used to narrate the hadith perfectly, perfectly, you know, like Yasir Qadi at the, at the beginning of his life, you know, he's, I mean, if you listen to the guy's stuff, you know, uh, some guy came up with a video saying, Yasir Qadi refuting Yasir Qadi. <laughs> things that he said before Yale and things that he said after Yale. That's all what you have to do, but you don't waste your time, I'd rather learn the religion. 
But imagine uh, uh, one of the people who used to narrate the hadith. I, I forgot his name, Allah subhanAllah. I'll bring you the name uh, next time, maybe. So, towards the end of his life, when he got in old, اختلط. You know what اختلط means? He started mixing up the narrations. Uh, there are people who do jarh and ta'deel there. There are people in the, in, in the, around who watch the people who narrate the hadith. And they see if their hif, if their memorization is still solid, or they started, you know, mixing up things now. You know, they started what? Making up things, mixing up things, saying this hadith is narrated by this, but meanwhile, ikhtalat means what? He started mixing up. His memory is not as solid as it used to be. He had a very wise, wallahi, and this is what I'm asking the community of Yasir Qadi to do. Very wise, or, or his family, you know, very wise daughter. She decided to keep her father inside the house, not to go out. He's, he got an old anyways. He got an old. Why? Because now all the scholars who uh, uh, label or what, what's it, uh, assess the narrators, they're going to start saying, what? Oh, he got mixed up. Now, all the stuff that he did in the past will be gone with the wind. Because quite frankly, it becomes very hard to know when did he start mixing up? Before he narrated this hadith or after? Then you start what? Questioning everything that he narrated so every hadith his name is mentioned in the chain of transmitters will be weakened they said so in order for, for 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 him to be protected and all that narrations all that work that he did all that knowledge before Yale, his daughter wanted to protect it to to keep it I love you guys for the sake of Allah.